Kiloto. Hey! Aye! Hey. Yo, make I tell you something. You see, make I, make I just make this thing clear to chat out. And this year they talk I'm again. Don't think you can fool us. You understand? Because you are not controlling the musicians' union. You don't have that power, that mandate to control the musicians' union. I get what I'm saying. Make I give Ghanaian's example. So, MPP and NDC, eh? they do election. Where they vote. Where did they, did they come? They say that they fight. They, they take ballot box. They, they do this. They, the electoral commission, eh? Electoral commission go talk say, eh, they ban NDC and MPP. If it's a sense the inside, they don't even have that power to say that they ban NDC and MPP. They don't get that power. You know how many routes and things that they come when it be election time? You know how many routes it they come when it be election time? Sometimes Ghanaians, let's think small. You understand me? Make we think small. Make you people not make, make my first start. Just see my first start. It be big things. Me, I talk, I talk this thing always. It be me, I talk the fans, make the last sentence. It be business because we take Ghana here. Nothing they go on for we musicians. Nothing better. You people make the music industry make poor, 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 poor to the extent that government self not a civil like to be serious. And it be true. You probably they make when the creative arts and sense, government they say like that place will be important. Yeah, government they watch road better. Government they watch agriculture better. Government they watch certain things for the country. Minerals and things better. Why see the creative arts? Government know they see the thing or go government know they see the thing. Nobody say I could find them government too. Any government where they come in power, you know they see the thing where. From Nikola Lai them a time to now. Then you won't tell me say, eh, because eh, and this, and this election, as they, they go on, the way people fight for who and some people to fight for Kumasi, Bantaman, so and we for try and um you know for ban them. Eh, eh. Electoral Commission, they said they know say, eh, eh. The judiciary, the, the the highest authority, that be that, that be the judges, that be the the, the, the impending form, you see, the high courts, the, the fast track, those places, it be them, them, them. Then we take Ghana, then we musicians, then you won't make we feel like we you, you own me. Huh? Ghana, me nobody make me I make money. You know be chatters where I make I make money. You know be Ghana music in that city where I make I make money. If my brains where I take make money. In my humbleness, in my respect. That's why I get linked for government, I get linked for police, I get linked for navy, I get linked for soldier. I do respect those people. President is said no say me I respect her. That's why we're here today. So if you look go respect yourself, eh? And stop that they ban, they ban, they ban. In question, you me a man organa on. Remember, we go cut, say, make somebody touch it out. Me they don't, me they don't do like, they don't want to do like, they, they, they control you. We will go make government close that house. We go burn that house. What kind of foolish thing be that? You know what I'm saying? It's small business. You people just make up your mind. Say you go organize a award. Go collect sponsorship. Then make money for yourself. We understand. That be your business you they do. Don't come and support somebody in business. Don't come say, the yeah, end. Yeah, you know, go nominate. Even say I need a nomination. What, what your nomination will give me? How, how many musicians where they go come? Go we come out today. We go come out and say, vote this, um, and chat house thing, this award thing, he helped them build house. What were they talking? Somebody go talk say, eh, why would they talk that thing? Why we for, for, for not talk that thing? Eh, people for just wise up. People for just wise up for this country with you. If we let you with you, everybody want peace. If you want to do award, continue to go do your award. Continue go do your award. Has and Kotoko. Has and Kotoko. They go play May 9th. People die. People die. GFA no band them. GFA no band them. Because there's some much the Jimmy Mudo Ghana. Now there's some people the way they say they be board members. They to the sun, then they take decisions. Someone like I, I see Rex Oma go to ready talk say, eh, eh, if they man chatter and why I'm stone boy there, if he be huh. So one ball bra here. Remember Cassie will be a hey, wheel. I get what I'm saying. We tire with the nonsense. Me, me personally, me are tired with the nonsense. If you want to go to your word, continue to your word. Eh? Eh, this will be your first and last. When you can't talk to you about me. This will be your first and last. Where you go do your things and put me for there. This will be your first and last. Where you come to portray that thing, say, yeah, Shatine, Stone Boy, there. Hey, maybe you go fit deal with Stone Boy like that. But you see me. Hey, don't try me. Don't try me. Don't try. Let me give example. Hassan Kotoko. I give example. Shell, Way Ben. I give example. NBC and MPP. Make Ghanaians think about them. 
They think say what this boy they do sense the inside and uh, say it be them, them they go decide for me. They go decide for me. Who can do nomination? Nobody can do nomination. So why do you do that? Why not do one all out? Why 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 you not do one all out? You know the boy they see that board in body, they say they be um, board members and things. All of you be poor people, I swear. You be poor people. You see what I get? So none of you get them. None of you get them. You be poor people. I swear everything. I'm going to pay all of you every month. I'm going to pay all of you every month. I'm not sure. 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 My guy, if you know God, you know God, tire. Yeah, obstacles will come. Obstacles will come. But you could jump them. You could fly over some of them. You could conquer some of them. You could brush some of them. I'm not sure. 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 You people know I've been a thing at the top. You know I've been a thing. The poor way they decide. Even people where they can't sit really top where they talk say they be panelists, they be presenters. You know guy in a thing. Why I look pretty still got seen for it? You know you, 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 you know, live any better life. They be suffer. They be suffer. They be suffer. Trust me. If we talk, they say make you no talk. I will talk. Most of them too will be disappointed musicians. Disappointed musicians. They talk to musicians like they know they respect musicians. They feel put musicians for program talk. Then panelists in they talk to the musician like yeah. Hey, hey, no we shut that wally. If the Ghana artists where they fool and they put them again, Ghana artists, we a Jimmy for because who knew your word? You don't know what you are worth. 13 minutes after 9 a.m. on a Thursday morning here on Showbiz Agenda, live on Xylophone 102.1 FM, Beyond the Horizon. My name is Sammy Flex, here sitting in for the business of the day. And I want to say thanks to my panel members. I have um, Mr. Michael Na, Mr. Michael Na is from Dream Studios. Uh, Jibril Jekbezier is from J.E. Kassat TV and uh, J.E. Kassat.com. I also have that I have called High Life Artist, of course, one of our favorite with uh, panel members on Thursdays and Tuesdays as well as Arnold main sign Levanya Vibes in 5 and Link Up Reloaded. And of course you are the other side of the business doing it uh, together. Alright, so we've given you some of the preamble to help us to do the discussion. Uh, we've given you the talking point in Shatawale's live video feed uh, he gave us on Facebook yesterday. And again we have played. The song at the background is called uh, The Band aka Pantan. I uh, hope you know Pantan. Uh, Pantan is one uh, psychiatric hospital like that where some people who have issues in their brains or their mental faculties are kept for rehabilitation and all of that. Um, we are also... Uh, you want to supply something? Point of correction. Okay. Pantan mm -hmm. is, is, a, is a locality, it's a community. Okay. And the hospital is sited within the community. Exactly. And so Pantan is not synonymous to the hospital. Okay. Okay, I, I get you. I, I get you perfectly. All right, thank you so much for this information, Mr. Michael Na, yeah, the man who knows, aka Okaija. <laughs> All right, so Pantine, aka the band, uh, beat produced by Beat Vampire. Uh, that is the issue here. Now, let's go into why our boys are not happy. I'm talking about Shatawale and um, Stone Boy. And I'm going to read this story uh, from ghbase.com. A website called ghbase.com has published this story on February 11th, 2020. And I'm sure uh, this is the reason why Stone Boy and Shatawale, they are disappointed in the organizers of Vodafone Ghana Music Awards. And the story says, Chatterhouse boss, Sean's Stone Boy Shatawale, says it is time to focus on other artists too. Chatterhouse boss, Sean Stoneboy Shatawale. And she adds that it is time to focus on other artists too. Now let me read the story. Take your time, listen to it. And we will ask just one question. Does this really warrant the anger from them? If you think, yeah, what the woman said, they have to be angry, that is okay. But if you also think that, oh no, Sammy, what she said really is not something that should really push them to be angry to the extent of tweets and um, uh, maybe these songs in a way to uh, the board and maybe the organizers. The story says, 
CEO of Chatterhouse, Teresa Ayuade, who is obviously yet to recover from the devastating blow Stoneboy and Shatawale inflicted on her and her outfit after they marred the last edition of the Vodafone Ghana Music Awards, has stated that it is now time to tilt the attention to other artists. Underline that. Madam Teresa believes other artists are doing so well, which needs to be highlighted. But we need, to, uh, but we tend to put all the attention on Shatawale and Stoneboy, which ultimately doesn't augur well for the industry. In an interaction with the media ahead of this year's VGMS, Theresa Ayuade said, "Can we go back to doing what we do best, which is reporting about the industry and what is happening in the industry?" Let the positive shine through all the time. Please, the story shouldn't always be on Stone Boy and Shatawali. There are other positive stuff happening. Let's put the spotlight on other musicians too. Let's also give those positive stories also that much attention. It's our industry. Sometimes it gets so frustrating and all you hear is negativity. Say this didn't work right, but this was good. Mix the positives and the negatives, not just the negatives all the time, she added. This is the long and short of the whole story that has called on our people, Stone Boy and Shatawali, to be throwing all jabs at um, the board and the CEO. So maybe I can uh, once again quote everything she said again and we come back to the question. Should this make Shatawale and Stoneboy very angry, and maybe even their fans. Yes, let me add the fans too. Should this make them angry? Now, the quotation once again from Mrs. Theresa Ayoade, one uh, good woman. Yeah, she's very good. In fact, uh, she has some attitude that you would always love, very calm all the time. She says, can we go back to doing what we do best, which is reporting about the industry and what is happening in the industry? Let the positive shine through all the time. Please, the story shouldn't always be on Stone Boy and Shatawali. There are other positive stuff happening. Let's put the spotlight on other musicians too. Let's also give those positive stories also that much attention. It's our industry. Sometimes it gets so frustrating and all you hear is negativity. Say this didn't work right, but this was good. Mix the positives and the negatives, not just the negatives all the time, she added. I'm sure their worry is the point where she said, it is okay, let's now shift attention to other artists. I'm sure that is their worry. I just feel that is their worry. And um, that is where Stoneboy put out um, the tweet and I want to read the tweet once again. That is where Stoneboy put out the tweet. And he says, May I conclude? What was Stoneboy concluding to? He was concluding to what Shatawale started? I'm sure. I want to believe. Maybe the videos and the song Shatawale started, he is concluding. May I conclude that Chatterhouse does not have the interest of Ghanaian musicians and Ghanaian music, Ghana music at heart. With all due respect, Mrs. Teresa, I'm disappointed. Calling on Ghana media to help you quench our careers is a very low blow. Hashtag beam government. See a nation beam. A bear government. Beam government. Now not government in nation, the nation. Nation. Nation so. governments are found. Within, within the nation, the nation. Like, uh, you have a set and a subset. Mm. So government falls below. The nation is going. Government is go. Shatawale has been struggling in the hands of <laughs> Vodafone Ghana Music House for far too long. <laughs> in fact, some of us we thought it was going to be over until this one. I remember. When he was recording this song, prove them wrong. Uh, they just uh, give it to me again. Guy was virtually crying in the studio, like you could feel it in his voice. I always <laughs> prove you wrong, Ghana. I think. Why should I always be the one to apologize for the wrongs I've not done? Oh, 
chaté sous Sata. On y a sous bon tien, ba nous sous. Any other time na sous bon tien sous. Sata chata sous ti misou. Oh yeah, you mean why should it always be me? Why? 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 Ti voice no. Oh sous. Go back to doing what we do best, which is reporting about, you know, the industry and what's happening in the industry. Because um, we, we really allowed, I think we allowed the negative to completely overshadow everything else that was good about the event last year. I mean, I don't even think people know who won what character award. I mean, it was really bad. All the other hard-working artists who worked so hard all year round and have got their plans to them at home. We're never celebrated. Never. Why? Because of these two artists. It's very wrong to have reduced the event to just these two artists. Very, very wrong. And if I was a fellow musician, I'd be very upset. You know, whether you're my friend or not. Now why would you do that to spoil the party for all of us? Is that because it's not about me, I'll put some in your garage. I mean, yeah, so that was really, really bad in bad taste. And I think we should not fan that negativity. Let's 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 start talking. It's our industry. I always say that it's our industry. Me, I have nowhere, no other industry. I don't belong to any other industry. I don't belong to oil and gas. I don't belong to. So, it sometimes it gets very frustrating when all you hear is negativity. You know, sometimes just a little sunshine is enough to just give you the vim to continue. You know, and we feed off these kind of things. So please, sometimes, yeah. This didn't work right, but this was good. You know, that makes the positives and the negatives, not just the negatives, 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 negatives all the time. So let, let, let the positives shine through sometimes, please. Because the thing is that the industry doesn't get enough support. We don't get enough support from corporates. We don't get support from government. So when we ourselves in the industry then bash ourselves, then it begins to make us look very unserious. I mean, do you know the number of corporate entities that we lost from that event? People who were willing to come and join Vodafone on the platform. And we know, probably know, that they may not respond to us this year because the industry has disgraced themselves, you know, to them. So sometimes I wonder uh, whether we understand the importance of what we are doing and the impact we are having on our own industry. You know, instead of running around together to protect our industry, we are the same people pulling it down. So I really want to implore you that beyond your reporting, think of our industry. Our industry needs you. We need you to celebrate our industry and to prop it up and make it attractive to investors, to sponsors. Now if you look around the scheme, the, the scene, sorry, there's no sponsorship anywhere. Nothing is happening because there's no money. And the, and, and the sponsors are not listening to us. And if we continue to project a negative image, it's just going to get worse for us. So I'm really imploring you, this is this opportunity. Now please, let's balance the reports and, and let's think of the good of our industry. Our industry. So it will be good for all of us. Okay. Um, let's come to the studio 28 minutes after 9 a.m. Thursday morning. Um, Jabril, are you ready? Yes. I'm are you ready? Yeah. Do you think what the woman said, first of all, do you think it was okay? And again, what do you think about the responses from Stoneboy and Shatawale in relation to what um, Theresa Ayuade said? Okay, Brasa um, mm -hmm. on the twenty third of January, mm -hmm. I was at the Alisa Hotel where this particular press conference was held. Good. All what she said, she said them. Um, but it is quite unfortunate. The con the, the words have been the connotation of the words are. Mm a little bit bubbly within mm -hmm. You think people are not understanding what she said well? Is that what you mean? Yes. Um, when I was there, when the media was there, I don't think that, yes, she made those statements. I don't think that she 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 made it a, a, a point that the media should move away, just like the way Stoneboy has, has put it across that. You, you brought the media together to quench our careers. I don't think that was what she meant. She meant. 
Mm. Um, and I don't think Mrs. Ad, uh, Ade, are you Ade? Are you Ade? Has every mm-hmm. or is, is at the position to tell the media to move away from Shatawale and, Stone and Stone Boy? No, mm-hmm. because yes, you held a press conference, mm-hmm. you've said your own, but I believe as a media guy, it is left to me to be able to know where I'm going to come from whenever I'm picking my articles or my stories to put across. Mm-hmm. Um, Stone Boy's press conference showed everything that whatever Mrs. Ad, 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 uh, are you a day? Are you a day? Why do you want to say Kade Kade? <laughs> I think I'm, I'm, I'm familiar with are you a, are you a day? Uh, that's are the right you, name. Uh, okay. You, you, see, you see, you are doing it to someone. <laughs> the day I did it to you and a certain Kohima <laughs> Bonito, you were crying. That's okay. Right. Let's, let's That's move okay. on. Yeah. Yes, by the way. Mm-hmm. So I I think that um, we showed Stone Boy that love. Mm-hmm. We we went out in our numbers mm-hmm. to take coverage of his his press conference. Meet the press, yeah. That should tell that mm-hmm. uh, what the woman said that day. No one is listening. No one is listening, and mm-hmm. at, at, and she's not even at that that position to make such decisions for us as media. And so, um, well with his point where they are trying to um charter houses is gaining and is not that that's an uh, that's from the artist pe- perspective mm-hmm. and he has every every he, he probably has his reasons for putting it out in that way because maybe he hasn't benefited from ghana music awards mm-hmm. and maybe other artists who hasn't but some also tell you that they do mm-hmm. or they have benefited mm-hmm. now um these two artists mm-hmm. especially with shatawali to be sincere has really suffered with the hands of VGMs. Mm-hmm. And then if if um the VGMA says that look uh, we are in court and I don't think we don't think we are going to add you to our categories or nominate you. Shata also says me too I don't want to be nominated. It's a fair game. Nobody loses here. Mm-hmm. It's 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 rare. He's doing his music, he's going the media the media definitely will follow because we want the trends. And so if he releases a song and it's, it's a this or maybe it's, it's a good song and we want the trends, we'll follow for it. If VGMA is coming on and then we're also going, we'll definitely have to go as a media again for the trends. That's we, that's what we do. Mm-hmm. We'll put it across. Mm-hmm. So this isn't actually, for me, I don't believe, I don't think that it's, it's going to, it, none of them we'll is going affected. to lose. No, none of them is going to be affected. The mm-hmm. VGMA has a strong, a strong stance. Mm-hmm. It has been in existence for twenty years, mm-hmm. and 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 yes, uh, when Shatter wasn't there those days, mm-hmm. it was existing. People were patronizing it. He came on board. It was still the same thing, and he didn't lose. They didn't also lose as well. Mm-hmm. And so this whole issue mm-hmm. for me, I think, um, well, I would have to blame Chatterhouse firstly. For that side, because mm-hmm. um, after this gun issue at the, uh, at the uh, event, event mm-hmm. they kept long before coming out to see. Um, they've they've banned them. They've banned them, or they've, they for even at least just talking to the media because uh, the media had a lot of questions. Mm-hmm. You just made a statement that we've banned them mm-hmm. indefinitely, mm-hmm. and that is all. We had a lot of questions to ask, and you wait all this while, and now you are coming out. At least. You should have reacted earlier so that a lot of conversations would have this i don't think this would have even would, have gotten would, there. would be working out at the moment and so charter house goofed mm-hmm. but with in terms of who it is no nobody is going to be affected okay so um i want to conclude that my understanding from your submission mm-hmm. is that you think shatawale and stone boy they are overreacting yes Thank you. His name is Jibril Jagbesie from GHKasa.com and here Kasa TV. That Hafko is next. Uh, let me listen to you. Hafko, the woman's statement and the responses from Shatta. Uh, uh, Shatta Wallen Stone Boy, once again. Mm-hmm. Is it okay? Uh, Sammy, mm-hmm. I think that one thing that I've learned. Mm-hmm. in this era of social media is that whenever you see somebody's thoughts or somebody's statement it is imperative that you go and look for what triggered it mm-hmm. when you find what triggered it you might have to change your mind about how you see things okay when i saw arnold showed me the tweet 
Mm-hmm. Then I was asking him what triggered it. I want to know why he wrote this. And okay. then luckily enough, you play the voice. Mm-hmm. I think if you listen to the woman's what the woman said, to me, objectively, as I've always been, I don't think there's anything wrong with what the woman said. Okay. I don't think there's anything wrong with what she said. The woman has a franchise that has to be protected. Mm-hmm. As well as she's a, um, a stakeholder in this business. The musicians, we also have whatever we have to protect. Whatever went on that night where me and you were present, if anything had gone bad, what if the government had jumped in and suspended the awards? Which could have been possible. You know, so they looked at all these things to get to where they are now. I think the statement she made was maybe responding to a media person or something. Yes. I think she was responding to somebody who probably kept on bombarding them with questions about these two artists. Mm-hmm. And she was trying to clarify that. Mm-hmm. Can we move away from these two artists and and focus on other areas of the business or of the awards because the awards does not revolve around only two artists because she cited an example and said if I were an artist if I were a different artist and you keep on asking these questions I mm-hmm. might get angry mm-hmm. because why is it always about this and I don't think if anybody puts such a statement across I don't think it's an insult it's mm-hmm. not an insult mm. if somebody says can we move on from Arnold and, and Sami and focus on the rest of the panelists at least because we are all in this room we all here to serve the same purpose. Mm-hmm. Why is it always? Why do you keep on asking mm-hmm. about Sami and Arnold? Why do you keep? Why don't we ask about Jibril? Why don't we ask about Masi? Why don't we ask about Mister Na? I don't think it's an insult. I think it's 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 just fair play. She's mm-hmm. just you know doing it as it's supposed to be done. So if that is what warranted the mm-hmm. rant, if I did that thing and nothing else, then I don't think I don't think it, it was right. I don't think it was right. Look, Sami. There, there, are things, there are little, little things that we don't value. For example, as humans, we don't put value on the air we breathe. We don't. For example, as humans, if we survive a feel like, for example, a car horns on you, pam, 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 and you nearly, a car craving our boy, and then you jump it. You don't even value it. You think it's, it's your skill. You think it's one casa winyan sabina a mau original baby? Charlie, yesterday for instance, I nearly knocked one guy's car. You understand? I, you, I, I just lost focus. Small. Yes, and you might think that Charlie. Punchy break if you have me, boy. Uh-huh, you might think that Charlie, man, yes, smarter. Mm-hmm. Who gave you that brain that gave you the smartness? Mm-hmm. You forgot. To, you forget to even appreciate that person. And some of these things we take for granted. The VGMA has given every artist validation. You can't look down on that. So, I mean, everybody, every artist who has been on that platform to receive a plaque, or every artist who has been nominated ever, has gotten some kind of validation, you know, from, from these people. And that is the biggest award scheme that we have, whether we like it or yes. Mm. And whatever, if we have to respect it, we have to respect it. Mm. They may not be doing all that we like. Mm -hmm. They may not be doing all that we want. Mm -hmm. And they may not be satisfying everybody. Mm. But like I said, objectively, if we will be very objective and not be biased, I am an artist, I'm speaking as an objective person, I think that they deserve some accolades. Mm. Since 1999 up to 2020, they've been there, done that. Every year, their controversies come. They pick themselves up. They come again. The, the same artist that lambast them the next year we go hoping to receive awards and believe you me everybody if everybody gets award everybody is happy if everybody gets nomination everybody is happy i've never seen any artist who worked so hard in the year under reviewer you are nominating an author to say yeah me i don't care so i'm happy mm. everybody goes on and complain everybody complains why because you, we may not be making music for awards, but awards are a validation. It gives you equity. It puts something on your brand. It makes people, you know what I mean? Because sometimes somebody may not even like your music. Somebody may not even like your personality. But per the awards or probably a certain appearance you will make because it's the biggest stage in the whole year, 
people get to see and feel like, oh, I didn't like this guy, but now I'm liking him. So, we give them something, they also give us something. So, if we have to sit down and listen to just as harmless as the woman put it, for it to... Look, yesterday, Bernard Boy wrote something on social media that mm, has mm, the mm, Nigeria for no more. I was following too. Yes. There is, there, is, there is one thing. Sometimes, as artists, when people are speaking about us on radio, sometimes we ourselves don't listen. Mostly, it's a hearsay. Mostly. Excuse me. Mostly, no. Obine Betty. Abe Kachre will say, Charlie, go listen to Xylophone. They really need this, this, you, pa. But truthfully, maybe I will bet I didn't know because, ah, but this thing. It, it's normal. Mm. They, are, they are having a discussion. Three days ago, somebody texted me and said, mm-hmm. um, the way Kwame Obwa did this year on Adum FM, mm-hmm. it will be small. Mm-hmm. I'm like, Kwame Obwa did this year said anything. So, later on, Red Osajifo sent me the audio. Then I, I listened to the audio and all that the man was saying is, um, that I've got is his senior and that I've got when you kick it. And and the, I found it like it was so harmless to me. I felt it was mm. like a he joke. Was, he was having fun. Yes, he was having fun. And somebody mm. had taken it like seriously. Actually, the guy, the way he speak about you, no good cry. Mm. If I had not listened to the tape and had gone on to react, but for me too, I don't react like that. I would definitely want to find out what it is before I speak. So in a nutshell, all I'm saying is this. Let's respect ourselves as craftsmen, as mm-hmm. artists, as stakeholders, mm-hmm. as industry people. Mm-hmm. We can't keep on going it this way. Every little thing that somebody says be uh, triggers a fight, triggers a war. Everybody, everybody has something to say eventually. But let's look at where and what to say. Because there are certain things that does not warrant. Because to be, to be honest with you, what the woman said, I don't know if you saw anything. Can, can it be that because it is not about you, you might not feel it? Because like the example you used, that if in the studio someone keeps asking Sammy and Arnold and you mm-hmm. tell the person, ah, why are you always asking Sammy and Arnold? Ask about Mr. Nantu. Mm-hmm. Indirectly, you're also telling the person to stop paying attention to me. And whoever loses attention will feel a pinch. Well, but the, the whole point is that uh-huh. no matter what you have go, yeah, if I, you lose more attention I get, I you get, feel it i get what i get what you mean even your girlfriend i get i get what you mean if she keeps calling you and suddenly she stops you start be, you start asking yourself ah this guy i should have called I, I get, Why? I get, some guy I, they eat i get what you mean but you see but you see in this in this business in this business i mean we come in classes shapes sizes and colors mm-hmm. reason i'm putting this is because i know this brand is bigger than my brand. And I know as Messi is bigger than my brand. Now I may know that maybe I'm also bigger than Obintin's brand. Mm-hmm. Right? So, to be in the position, mm-hmm. sometimes you could be a bigger brander. Say, you can't Obintin wants him for one year, his brand still won't it's pass, yeah. get to your, mm-hmm. your level. Because we are solidified. You are established. You understand? That is why they say the bigger brands actually help hold the the younger brand's hands and pull them along because they are the ones that need help. They are the ones that need publicity and hype and all these things. So the angle you are coming from, I understand it perfectly. Nobody would want the spotlight to leave them. Mm. Nobody. Mm. Then the Coca-Cola crowd, they still do ah. advertisement. Ah. But the point and I'm they would be, uh, your friend is in Pepsi before Mocha Krabia, no of course, um, but the point I'm making is the woman was responding to the media. Mm. She was trying to say that my award scheme covers over thousands of musicians. Why do you people always come to me and ask about only two people? I want us to spread it across because in the year under review, a lot of people also work very hard to be recognized. Recognition. Mm. It may not even come with money, mm, mm, but recognition. Mm, 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 Recog- mm. A plus in the council, which I must say, son, work to have a name. Properties don't matter. You can die tomorrow. Mm. Yes. And if you die and you don't have a name, you're gone forever. So it is recognition. 
Everybody wants to be recognized. That's why we move. We are sorry, I'm actually a bad name. Because bro. you invest in your brand. Mm. That's it. It is because of the names and what you've done. Mm. Exactly. Mm. So the woman is saying that let's spread it across. Let's give other people, let's make it a fair playground for everybody mm. rather than Idi Ami, you 100 meters. No, I can't go to Accra more. Meanwhile, you're caught at seven. Now you're starting to happen. A better no one So let's make it a, a fair ground, fair playground for everybody, okay. and spread it across rather mm. than focusing on the two. And okay. I don't think it was malice intended. Okay. I don't think so. So I think that sometimes, you no, know, you know, to hear stuff about us and all of that, you know, the way we go about it, and so no, yeah, na say yeah, be sketch yeah. We can, we can, we can hold on. Mm -hmm. You know, because they say they say. Silence means concern, but sometimes mm -hmm. also silence means that you've ignored. Mm -hmm. You understand? So for me, there, yeah, I don't think that what she said mm -hmm. warranted anything. Mm -hmm. But on, on my brother's part too, I think they also spoke how they felt. Like you mm -hmm. said, you understood it differently. Mm -hmm. I may have understood it differently. Mm -hmm. So they also spoke what they felt and mm -hmm. how they understood it. But mm -hmm. the point is that mistake in Enyaba, and they own their words mm -hmm. they own the franchise mm -hmm. the decision they make you know mm -hmm. is either you accept it or you move away okay. broken. if you decide you don't want to be a part of it mm -hmm. the thing will go on okay if you decide that i have understood that may a part by the life will go on just like they said the world will still the world can still do without the best the world will still spin on its axis without, without the, best. the best. That's true. You understand? So That's true. let's just, you know, leverage everybody, mm. respect each other, mm -hmm. and just move on as, you know, one industry. And make it briefly, briefly on this one. Um, Shatter says, vote for your artist. This be the short quote. All be scam. Is it true? Well, I, I mean, I can't tell because, okay. you know, we are not on the bus. But we know that when they bring the definition uh -huh. of... The categories uh -huh. they say that maybe 60 percent is for the public okay and 40 percent is for the board okay. for me i've always believed that maybe the power of the board maybe mm -hmm. if a board member votes it could be more than one mm -hmm. vote because their voices are bigger okay you know so i may not be able to uh, you know sketch yeah. it well but I okay mean. thank you so much that i have cool now let's move on to mr michael now I hope today we do some calls. I hope today we do some calls uh, here on the show. So, guys, be on standby for me. Mr. Na, yes. Um, do you also think the woman goofed? And therefore, what our guys are giving from in response to? From the last question, from the mm -hmm. last question, the yeah, Shatter Ebisa is here. Mm -hmm. so, uh, this is the short code. Vote for your artist to win. He's asking. No, he's saying it is a scam. Does it mean that say, the ones that made him win awards to are scams? Yes, if now he's seen it, then it means the previous ones too are. So he's going to return the awards? I'm not sure he said that. Anyway, mm. um, I like to situate everything within context. Oh, oh boy, shut up, you know? And then we read Stone Boy's um, tweet. And then I asked Mr. Massive if the woman's voice, voice is around. And then thankfully, it was supplied, mm -hmm. you know. And so that gave us a very fair grounds. Mm -hmm. Now, let's even go further. Mm -hmm. I think that I have co touched briefly on that. Mm -hmm. But what question was asked? Because I understand it was a press conference. Mm -hmm. So journalists were asking questions, and the woman was responding to the questions. So what could have been the question? Mm -hmm. So uh, this, this could have been the question that uh, Mrs. Ayuadi, mm -hmm. um are we still going to maintain the ban on Shatawale and um, Stone Boy in this year's awards uh, as it was announced last year? Or maybe we're going to revoke the ban so they can be part of the scheme? In Halifax's voice. In, yes. <laughs> uh, in Halifax's Halifax voice. Halifax okay, voice. good. <laughs> you know, now the question was were they uh, in the, in the, what's, were they nominated? Were they? Were they built to be nom nominated for these year's awards? No, they were not. Besides, the ban too was w said... Well, we could only ask. Uh -huh. Because the ban is an indefinite, indefinite. ban. It means so it could be that it the moment we entered 2020, the ban had ended. So it only warranted an asking. 
Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. But the way she responded meant that she received perhaps more than one question yes. about the two. Yes. You know, and have got used the word. He, she was being bombarded mm-hmm. with questions mm-hmm. regarding. I mean, no, that, that that is the nature of press conferences. That's it. Uh-huh. That's Anytime it. you're going to do a press conference, you should have patience. You should have knowledge. Yes. Uh huh. Yes. And so and so if if these things were coming up and it was probably or clearly not uh within her lineup of activity or probably not mm-hmm. within her plans mm-hmm. you know and they bring these kind of questions it, it was just fair for her to say oh can we can we not focus on this mm-hmm. but focus on that you know i understand why shatter um is the way he is. Shatter is a very emotional person. Just the last song, what was the title? The band Prove Me Prove, ah, prove you me Wrong. wrong. Okay, yes, okay, yes, okay. yes. Prove me wrong. When 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 I was listening to the song, I was like, okay, okay, what was going through his mind? And now you came in and said he was crying in the studio. I was like, okay, yeah, it was okay. Obvious. The guy, mm. the guy, the guy was mm-hmm. I mean, oh he doesn't he doesn't fake it. Mm-hmm. He doesn't fake it. You know, so but I think this time around, the way he came hard at the woman, I was like killing a mosquito with a sledgehammer. You know, it was like Charlie this time around, and it's possible that she didn't even hear what the woman said. It's who, very who possible. Who didn't hear? Shatter. Oh, wow. No, it's possible. No, 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 he heard it. No, I'm saying it's possible. He heard it. Like, I want to be sure for you. Oh. Sh- Shatter is one guy nosing for content everywhere. Really? Yeah. He is one artist who listens to radio like he's crazy. Wow. Wow. Yes. But the reaction, their reaction was was a bit too strong. Mm-hmm. That's that's my point. I'm saying that the way he reacted, obviously, there's something he and Stoneboy are doing very, very well, which has set them apart from the rest of the artists. You know, and I think they are a very good case study for the rest of artists to 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 follow, to learn from. You know, they they. I mean, why is it that even when they are banned, people still want to talk about them? The media still want to talk about them. You know, that's a very good case study for every artist, whether um, established artist or up and coming artist, to 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 learn from. You know, they have managed to go beyond the regular artists that we know in ghana you know and that for me is a plus okay their beef was probably because um it felt like who do major you know who do major just by the statement as as it stands the statement alone will feel like you're trying to kill my shine you're trying to kill my shine in favor of other artists you know, but like I said, if you go beyond or behind the questioning that elicited the, 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 the answers, you would have probably found out that she wasn't speaking as a general something. Let's 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 kill their shine, but she was probably responding to the the situation within the room at that moment. You know, and that's 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 where I'm coming from. Okay, so that makes Shatter's response a bit too strong, you know, for that woman, you know. Um, finally, I should say that. Hey, what am I? I just lost my thoughts. Okay, uh, let me get, let me ask you this, so you Please. come back to the lane. Yes. For instance, can Shata also say that, guys, do your awards. You banned me. Perfect. I understand. I'm minding my business. Mm. Do your awards. But please, don't demonize me. Uh-huh. Don't be mentioning my names everywhere so that it looks like I'm a bad person. Yeah. Can he also call for that? Yes, yes. Thank you. Mm-hmm. He, just, he just brought the thought back. Good. Now, the, one of the mm-hmm. best ways of, if you like, killing somebody is just to ignore. Mm-hmm. All right? Mm-hmm. Just, just, just ignore the person. Mm-hmm. If you don't want the person to trend Mm -hmm. the best way is to not to talk about the person not not to make noise about the person or Mm -hmm. talk about the person whatever way Mm -hmm. and i think that if uh uh, if that is the mind of charter house Mm -hmm. 
they could just adopt that. Mm -hmm. But I sincerely also don't think that that is their mind. Okay, thank you so much. I don't think that that's their mind at all. Okay, thank you so much. We have just about six minutes to close, but then I still want to manage the space for my callers to call in still. And also, um, <clears throat> let me also listen to you. Mm. Was the woman right? The responses from Shatter and Stoneboy, are they also on point? Um, responses from Shatter and Stoneboy. I'll take um, Stoneboy's response first. Mm -hmm. I mean, unless Stoneboy has... Uh, other pieces of information that we do not have, maybe off-record uh, conversations that he's, he's uh, privy to, mm -hmm. you know, which informed the way he came out. Mm -hmm. And maybe Shata, on the other hand, perhaps he also has some behind-the-scenes information. They've been told certain things by board members or people closer to Chatter House or the VGMA board. Mm -hmm. That forms part of the reason why they've come out this strongly. Mm -hmm. Because under normal circumstance, what the woman said, mm -hmm. even if she should um, trigger a response, it shouldn't be as heavy as they both have done. Mm -hmm. Stoneboy, in his response, says the woman or Chatter House doesn't have the interest of the music, the Ghanaian artist or the music industry at heart. But if you take just what the woman said in the tape you played, I'm concentrating solely on what she said in the tape. If they heard something else off record, for which reason they are coming out this strongly, then that could be dealt with differently. But if it's... Not, but if someone tells you, mm. um, why can't we shift attention to the others? It's, 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 it's an inference. W yes. It's an inference, mm. which means, yes. But let me, let, let, let me learn. Your, your, your point is well made. Mm -hmm. It's an inference. Mm -hmm. But you see, in this particular conversation i think wedding is very 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 key every single word in whatever the woman said must be considered and the way she put them together mm -hmm. because anya sana either the woman is being taken out of context or we are taking the two you know giant artists out of context and so the way she said it every single word must be considered mm -hmm. how did she put it did she say stop focusing on them and focus on others or she says we shouldn't pay all attention to just these people mm. you we listen to open the tape. up you listen to the tape yeah right? i listen but you can okay. play it again so because uh, uh, a couple of guys have spoken so you've forgotten yeah so no i listened okay but for emphasis sake you could play it back or read just that portion so that we can speak to it i feel all she's saying is that yes it is okay to talk but let's widen the scope so that we can accommodate other artists who are also in the industry and if somebody speaks like this the person doesn't sound in any way like he's not for the industry or okay, it's not so for let, the let me read it like he said Play, read it um, he me. said can we go back to doing what we do best mm -hmm. which is reporting about the industry and what is happening in the industry good or bad let the positive shine mm. through all the time mm. please the story shouldn't always be on stone boy and shatawali mm -hmm. there are other positive stuff happening mm -hmm. let's put the spotlight on other musicians too Let's also give those positive stories also that much attention. Yes, let's give the spotlight to other musicians too. That means the two of them are still existing. It means existent. killing me. No, it doesn't mean killing me. If I tell you, give Masi food too, it doesn't mean I should stop giving Sami food. Mm -hmm. Give Sami food, but give Masi food too. And I hear my folks do it too as well. Mm. which mm. is wrong mm. 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 <laughs> give mm. sami food mm -hmm. but give massive food too it doesn't mean stop giving sami food and give massive food are you getting it yeah so if we mistake it to be kill my shine and let the others rise eventually the same person would have to kill the others before others too could rise but if you listen to the woman all she's saying is that let's pay attention to the negative stories and let's pay attention to the positive stories too Mm -hmm. But mostly the negative ones are more into the mountain negative stories, no so and balance it. Let's go back to what we used to do, mm -hmm. and that is talking about the industry. And in talking about the industry, it's not one sided, it's not just the negatives. Let's pay attention to the positives too. And this very artist, at a point in time, both of them have always sometime complained that look, it's only my negatives you guys project. When I'm doing good stuff, you don't talk about it. Mm -hmm. Haven't we all heard it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They say right from major artists um, to minor artists. I remember was it somewhere last year when Stoneboy was on his sugar tour? Same way he gave such punches to the media where he good. said, uh, someone wants to take money from me before he talks about my uh, tour. You see? Mm. So at every point in time, or at one point in time, 
you wish that your goods are also being trumpeted as much as the negatives are being trumpeted. So if mm -hmm. someone is saying, let's not just pay attention to only the negatives, let's balance it with the positives. Because there are others doing stuff. There are other musicians that also need attention. Mm -hmm. Can we continue sustaining just the two top, one top, three top? No. If truly Shatawali, if truly Stoneboy have the industry at heart, this lines the woman used. Again, if she had said anything else somewhere that we are not privy to, that's different. But as per what we are dealing with, she hasn't said anything bad. Pay attention to other musicians. Let's not always let it be about Stoneboy and Shatawale. It should be about Sarkodie too. Mm -hmm. It should be about Samini. It should be about Hafko. Mm -hmm. It should be about King Promise. It should mm -hmm. be about Kwesiata. Mm. Whatever any of them is doing right, episode, article one. Let's try Patapa. to balance the equation so that we'll have a lot Say of them. Patapa. Patapa. Mm -hmm. You know, menace. Mm. Let's talk about mm. all these guys. Mm. So they have, they, they, they get the shine. It doesn't mean that kill Stoneboy and Shatawale mm. so you could talk about the others. None of the things she said means killing Shatawale, killing Stoneboy. Rather, she's saying what both of them have been fighting for. Mm. She's saying what both of them have been fighting for. Let's widen the scope. Media men don't just zone into one small side and stick to that side for too long. Mm. There are other things happening. Pay attention to them. Do you know the number of Shatawalis we still have that we haven't discovered? Yeah. Do you know the number of Stone Boys we have that we haven't discovered? True. How will we discover them if we do not widen up the scope? Mm. 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 How will we discover them if we do not talk about them? Mm. If we don't put them on the same platforms that we're putting Shatawali and Stone Boy? Mm. So the thing the woman said, I think if they sit down in their rooms, they agree with it. Mm -hmm. The way they came out shouldn't be Stone Boy. The woman is anti-industry. She doesn't like the musicians. If she doesn't like musicians, she won't call for opening up the so scope. So Stone Boy is more or less calling for the industry against her. I think with, so. With, with that tweet. Yeah. I think so. Because if you because say... if someone doesn't like all of us, someone doesn't like all our progress, then it means we should no, all go fight no. that person. And uh, again, I, I want to maintain, maybe they've heard something we haven't heard. But mm. uh, let's open up the scope. And Stoneboy mm. will agree with me that for us to have a strong and vibrant industry, the paradigm has to shift. Mm. We need to open up to accommodate more people. Because okay. guys are doing... The two of them are reggae dance hall artists. Mm -hmm. But we have high life artists. Mm -hmm. We have hip life artists. Mm. We have Afrobeat artists. Rap. We have rap. Mm -hmm. The Obibinis and Kos. Mm -hmm. If we do not gospel, if we do not open up the scope, even and it has to even always traditional be music. even traditional music. So and cool. You know, if it has to be about just the two of them, and they represent reggae dance hall, what happens to high life? What happens to Afrobeat? What happens to gospel? What happens to traditional music? What happens to those who are singing lullabies? Mm. Mm. You know, mm. so the woman hasn't really said anything too damaging okay. to warrant the response they gave her. Okay. Unless they have pent up anger. You know, things have happened, things mm. have happened mm. and they've mm. harbored all within mm -hmm. and they're looking for the slightest, you know, opportunity to vent to their vent spleen. Their anger. But mm. as, as per what we're talking about, it hasn't gotten to the point where they will demonize Chatterhouse or the woman to that level. Okay. Let's wait until they make statements mm -hmm. that clearly goes against what they want. Say, let's not focus on Shatawale and Stoneboy for anything. Let's okay. shift attention. Mm. But if you say, let's accommodate others too. Yeah, my be moon back on. And my young genome moon class, so yeah, be not a be moon back on. And don't just say any moon film. More, more. But let's focus on others too. All right. Thank you so much. His name is Arnold Mason Levanyo. Now...